Hello everybody and welcome again to Quillsoft Presents in WordQ. Today we're going to be taking a look at using the proofread mode in WordQ. I like to call it the forgotten feature because a lot of people don't even know that it exists. So how do we access the proofreading function? Let's take a look at tip number one. The current sentence and listen as each word is spoken while being highlighted word by word, emphasizing the visual slash spoken shape of each word. So further, proofreading mode allows you to read text by controlling the speed and voice of the feedback. And it also provides the ability to fully engage in the editing process. So again, really integrating with that sentence so that you can take a look to see if the sentence actually reflects what your thoughts were in writing it, or does it make sense as you write it, or is the grammar maybe sounding a little bit off and it might need to be fixed, the punctuation itself as well. So how do we get into this? So let's try it. Click anywhere in a sentence and I'll use the sentence that's above here. And when you're in that sentence, then click the read icon. What do you notice? The entire sentence is highlighted. At this point, you're ready to move to the next step. How do we turn the proofread mode on and off? The proofread mode allows you to control the editing at your speed and at your time. You use both your auditory and your visual modalities to help you to edit your work. So let's try that again and I'll use the sentence that's above here. Click into the sentence and click read. You'll notice again that the entire sentence is highlighted. Now use your spacebar as an on off button. On. You can use both your auditory. Off. On. Auditory and visual modalities. Off. And you'll notice that it's highlighting unit by unit as you're going through. How's the speed of the sound of the feedback? If you find that it is too fast or you don't like the voice that's coming out, remember you can always change the voice and the speed of the feedback in the speech feedback section under options, right on the right hand side where the speed is to either increase the speed or to decrease the speed and to choose the voice that you want. All right, let's take a look at how we navigate through the proofreading mode now. Tip number three says that I can use my arrow keys to move freely up, down, right and left in the sentence or in the sentences to be able to focus in on my work. So let's try it and I'm going to use the sentence that we have above here. Once you've stopped in a sentence, use the left and right arrow keys to listen to combinations of words. So let's try that. Our cursor is flashing in the sentence. Remember what we do next. We click read. The entire sentence is highlighted. Use the space bar to start. You can use the left. And stop. Start. Left. Right. Up. Stop. So let's use the left arrow key. Right, left. Hmm, interesting. Right arrow key. Right, up, and down. Arrow, keys, arrow, keys. So by going left and right, you can see whether or not that combination of words actually makes sense uh, in your sentence so that you can move further. How does this actually help in editing? Well, one way of being able to do it is once I'm finished in the sentence that I'm editing now, I can click the down arrow key and you notice that it goes to the next sentence. Down arrow key again goes to the next sentence and down arrow again goes to the next sentence. And I can begin the process again by turning on. How does this help? Off. Left. This. Does. This. Help. Giving me an opportunity to make sense of the sentence and to make corrections where corrections are needed. So now down to the overview. Remember that you can customize the speech feedback in proofreading mode in the following ways. Again, as I mentioned earlier, you can go to options, you can select speech feedback, and then change the voice, adjust the speed of the voice, and sometimes you can even change the pronunciations of how things are pronounced. Do all of this to create a positive learning experience.